Here I'm going to show you how to round to the nearest 10 using the mountain method. I'm going to put a cloud in the sky and I'm going to draw my mountain so that it's ready to go. I might even put some snow on my mountain so it's all ready to go. I would like us to round the number 67 to the nearest and in the sun I'm going to put to the nearest 10. So I want to do 67 to the nearest 10. The first thing I'm going to do is identify which numeral is in the tens space. So the 6 is in the tens space. So that's the one that I'm looking at. At this part of the mountain I'm going to put the number with this number in the tens. So I'm going to put 60. At this part of the mountain, I'm going to put the next tens number up. So I'm going to put 70. I then want to work out what would be at the top of the mountain, which is halfway in between 60 and 70. So halfway between 60 and 70 is 65. Now what we need to do is we need to take our original number of 67 and put it on the mountain. So 67 would be after 65, so it would be about here somewhere. We're going to put 67 in there. This shows that we would round it to 70. He's going to ski down the mountain to get rounded to the nearest 10. Let me give you another example. I would like us to round the number 82 to the nearest 10. So I'm going to put 10 in my sum. I'm going to draw my mountain. There it is. Now the next thing I'm going to do is identify which numeral is in the tens place. And there's eight tens in the tens place. So at this part of the mountain I'm going to put eight tens. And at this part of the mountain I'm going to put nine tens. One more ten. Halfway between is what's going to go up here. So halfway in between 80 and 90 is 85. I'm now going to place 82 onto my mountain. So 82 would definitely be on this side of my mountain and he's going to slide down the hill so he would round to 80. So let's take this one step further and see if we can use the mountain method to round 327 to the nearest 10. I want to round it to the nearest 10. The first thing I must do is identify which numeral is in the tens space. Here there's two tens in this one. There's 27. There is 300 and there is seven ones. And they're important, but they're not what we're rounding to. We're rounding to the nearest 10. I'm now going to draw my mountain. And I'm going to look at what's in my tens. And that's what I need to write down here. Now the hundreds is still there, but he's not very important. And down at this end, we're going to add one more to our tens. So we're going to have 330. I now need to work out what is halfway in between 320 and 330. The halfway point is 325. I'm now going to put this number on my mountain. It would go past 325 and it will definitely be on this downward stretch here. And so then when he slides down, he would round to 
330. Let's take one more look at rounding to the nearest 10 with the mountain method. This time we are going to round the number 1462 to the nearest 10. I'm going to draw my mountain. Now this is where I need to think about it carefully. I'm rounding it to the nearest 10. I've therefore got to have a very careful look at my tens digit. So I'm going to circle it. 60. 60 is in my tens digit. There are six tens. 60. So that's what I want to concentrate on down here. You have to put the numbers that are bigger than that in because they're important. There we go. And then I'm going to do one ten more up here. So I'm going to put my 17. Now halfway in between 1460 and 1470, just think about your 60 and your 70, halfway will be 1465. Now we're going to place our number onto the mountain. It, it's not as big as 1465, it's only 1462. So it'll go on this side of my mountain. So when it slides down, it will round itself to 1460.